Happening today, the annual Carolina Balloon Fest set to kick off in Statesville. In just a matter of hours, folks will be able to enjoy one of the best traditions here in the Carolinas. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane live now in Statesville. And Richard, it's going to be a busy weekend up there. The weather looks great as long as it's not too windy. Absolutely. We were just been. You were always on top of there things. You, you know everything. It's we're talking about the weather. It we're hoping it's not going to be too windy. Good morning to you, Ben. Good morning to you, Sarah, and everybody. And a good Friday morning. And the person I was talking to actually, come over here, Mr. Presley Maddox. Uh, you're the past chairman, so you know all about it. And I asked him earlier. I said, "What is this all about? What's the big deal for this weekend? What's the biggest attraction?" And you said in one word, "The balloons, of course." <laughs> Tell us what folks can expect. Just high above the sky this is the 48th annual the second longest running right second longest running behind albuquerque and albuquerque's run by a guy from statesville of all things <laughs> and the guy who used to run albuquerque Albu is now our executive director so we have a close tie to those guys yes and this event does a lot for this community it also helps as far as as we look at video it, it's a great uh event to actually go out and partake in correct absolutely um it's a great fundraiser uh, this event generates about a hundred thousand dollars per year and donations back to other charitable organizations in Iredale County. And folks can get in those balloons and just fly away. <laughs> they go where the wind goes. But yes, <laughs> the, the, the afternoon mass ascensions happen somewhere between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, we have 55 balloons that will go up on Friday and Saturday. About half of those guys will lo load up come back to the event site, set back up and do a static balloon glow at, after dark beautiful it's just amazing and this community is really known for hot air balloons correct um, back in the middle 60s a guy named Tracy Barnes moved here and started something called the balloon works which became the the largest balloon manufacturing business in the world for a while um, the business is still here it's not the biggest one in the world anymore uh, but we have a really strong tie to hot air ballooning in Iredell County and a great history and a great history indeed. And if you want to come out and enjoy some of the activities this weekend, you know, we, we should have the link on our website. If we won't, we'll put it up there in a few minutes. You can find information there. And guys, it's, you know, this is what I'm all about. I, Larry told me when it comes to balloons, I have that in common because I'm full of hot air also. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure where you were going there, but I mean, Larry said it, you know, must be true. Larry said it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Larry.